Miss Angela is hard at work this morning. Looking for a job. It's about time. She's got to quit being a lazy bum. Uh, buddy of mine got his dozer in this morning. Uh, we're set up over here. He had to run him, get his truck and get some fuel and stuff like that. But hopefully here in just a little bit, if it's rain, will hold back. We'll start clearing us driveway. I haven't really showed you guys the view from our driveway. Uh, the driveway will be going in right here, but we do have a little bit of a view. Uh, not sure we're going to have that much cleared in there by the house. So it'll still just be our view from the driveway. Uh, our dozer hand should be here just any moment. And I'm going to get him lined out while we run off and grab us some lunch. Had a little rain shower kick through. It is humid as all get out. Everything's about drained off from the little rain that we got a moment ago. Uh, muck boots and shorts. That's about the only way to rock, I think. Get in here and see just how far he's made it in since we ran off to grab a bite to eat for 30 minutes or so. Oh, lots and lots and lots of work. Good to smell some fresh soil turned over though. Been a little while for me. I worked with this old boy for many years back in my oil field days. He's a good hand. 30 minutes time here. He's nearly to the home site already. Of course, we're trying to save some of these bigger trees. That was one in particular I had my eye on to save. But he's making a path and making it quick. The best thing I can do is stay out of his way and let him work. Because if I get to jack in my jaw, it's just going to slow him down. This is the home site place that we established that we showed y'all a few days ago. Uh, the back side of the ribbon here for kind of the clearing area that we want to do for the house. The creek is right down here. You can see the fresh dirt over here where we dug for the uh, park test. Everything is right in here. And then we'll get the house pad laid out right up in here. And he's just nearly to the end of our road already working his way in here and it will start clearing this here and start some burning
I made my way through here and got some green on some of these to keep. We don't want too many big trees by the house, but we need a few. A couple of guys like this one here, try to hang on to it. And I got several marked up on that other front side over there. A little bit more clearing around here. And this is going to make all the difference in the world of being able to see how this is going to lay out. Miss Angela had spotted this cacti out here. And she was worried about saving this poor guy. So I got him up a while ago. All the roots and everything. Got him over here to the truck. We're fixing to get a paper towel wrapped around these roots. She said we got some moisture on until we get it to the house. It can get it in some dirt and I can get all these little pricklies out of my fingers and, and all that. But she wanted to show you guys this. Uh, there's not a lot of cacti that you'll find growing around Arkansas, but you will run into them on occasion. And she wanted to save this little guy. And here's my dry paper towel. I'm going to see what I can do about getting some moisture on this cat so he can make it to the house. All right, guys, we ran off for a few minutes and uh, went and got that cactus planted. We didn't want it to be oh, without a home. So it's been about an hour or so. Sneak back in here on this young man and see where he's made it. Again, this is the driveway here. You can see how it came in. from the county road there and then it's going to swing and go in and the main reason for that I just didn't want people to be able to stop in the road and look straight down the driveway to see the house uh, we, we've got just a hair under four acres here so it's not huge but we're still trying to keep it secluded as best we can and that's why we're building in this back corner here Whew power line water and driveway will all be in this right away here there's some firewood there I hate that that one had to go but it was in the way Need to bring a chainsaw up here in the morning and try to cut a few of these logs out. Get them out of the way and cut them up for firewood and stack them off the side somewhere. He's got the couple of trees that I flagged. Right there behind him that we wanted to leave because that'll be far end of the front yard there and this driveway will swing in and come into the house that'll be kind of sitting right over there the creek is just off the hill that side he's making some headway and making some mess we're gonna open up some sunshine in here for sure Good times, good times. This is about where I stood earlier, pointing to where the home place was gonna be. And, well, there it is. Uh, septic and everything. Field lines are back off right over here. See the pink ribbons in there, maybe. Right there, that's the end of that field line. Septic tank should fall out about there somewhere. I can see it and envision it in here. Everybody else? Everybody see exactly what I can see? Does it just look like a great big mess? Great big mess, huh? This is about the gist of uh, day one with a dozer. We've uh, got some brush to burn for sure. And uh, hopefully we can kind of get that piled up in the center there and then get most of it burnt here, hopefully in the next couple of days while everything's nice and wet. 
Poor little old dose is going to earn its keep today. This is about where we're at for today. We'll probably get in here one more time this afternoon. Mom will come in and walk after he leaves for the day. And uh, that'll probably be the closure for this video. And then we will start again tomorrow.